Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang, Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. So another finesse two-time show and another fight has happened. Now you know. So allegedly a fight broke down at a show where finesse two times was set to perform. Now some people that was actually at the show said luckily this time finesse two times wasn't actually technically involved. It was just the show at the place where he was going to actually be at. Uh, they're saying that there was some opening acts that actually happened uh, and they actually went over the time limit they were supposed to perform at. So the DJ got a little mad and somehow how some way all hell broke loose now this is just one of the reports is actually coming out i'm sure there'll be more reports that's coming out about it uh but like i said i will show y'all a tweet from a person that was actually at the show or a message from the person that was actually at the show and that person said <clears throat> it was here in kansas city the dj got into it with some of the out of town guests because they went over the time limit for their set nothing to see here laugh out loud now you know you already know just like in houston texas when a DJ slid, you know, someone, a lot of stuff was going down there, and it just turns out that takeoff end up, you know, getting shot and killed. They stepping inside of Kansas City as well, I see. Man, you know. I done told y'all all before, and I tell y'all again, every time it's some type of shooting or fighting that goes down at the gangsta rap concert, make sure you got something to protect yourself. If they let the strap inside, bring the strap inside. If you got mace, bring mace. If you got a pocket, whatever, whatever you're able to bring inside to protect yourself, just make sure you bring that, because Obviously, the, 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 the history has shown any time is a rap concert and the club is full of black people. You know what I'm talking about? What's going to happen? It's going to be some type of fight to break off. It's going to be some type of uh, a shooting. Something's going to happen. And that ain't just being stereotypical. That's literally been shown time and time and time and time again. You know what I'm talking about? Especially with particular artists. Uh, obviously, people going to be off that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Probably be on that lean, lean and all that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And then whenever the music gets on, of course, the rap music is most of the time talking about shooting, killing, fighting violence and it's demonic let's just be real we got to be honest be real with ourselves right a lot of the demonic music start playing and what do you think is going to happen everybody's not about to be in a lovey dubby mood and a in a this mood that mood people gonna be in a super tough mood or super okay you look at me wrong uh it, it, i'm gonna set it off you know what I'm talking about you, you you touch my shoes you bump me da, 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 da. there's gonna be a whole lot of hyper aggression that's taking off anyways Anyway, speaking of beatdowns, uh, of course, the whole world right now got eyes on a guy named Tyree that was brutally beat by the uh, the police officer, the five police officers. And, you know, a lot of people are speaking out and Boosie has now came out and gave his, you know, some of his two cents about the whole entire situation. And he pretty much came out and said, if Tyree was white, those black officers would not have a bun. I've been telling y'all about these for 20 years and police always get light sentences. We so never get our get back. A uh, cop, my kid on camera is over. I'm tricked off the streets back on death row. Eh, man, you know. Boosie, of course, is one of the people that's always been having beefs with the 12s. I mean, they do pull them over. Literally, we get to see Boosie getting pulled over by the 12 at least four or five times a month. You know what I'm So he's got a consistent battle uh, that's actually going with the 12. Now, he did beat some murder charges. You know what I'm talking about? That he, that he potentially, you know what I'm talking about, was involved in. But according to the course, system he was not involved in those at all uh no matter what the lyrics may say no matter what the people who did the hits may say he still be the court so you can't you know somebody can't involve him with that at all now you know so Lil Boosie pretty much said if the Tyree guy that the officers pretty much slaughtered on the street was a white guy, uh, that they wouldn't have got a bun. And what he means by that, first of all, they've already got a bun. I think it's like four or five of them or however many officers it is. Each one of them has got a bun. So, yes, they're already out. Now, he said they wouldn't have got a bun if that guy was a white guy. But, man, actually, <laughs> they probably wouldn't have had to get a bun if it was a white guy because they probably wouldn't have just killed him like that in the middle of the street. Uh, it does seem as if inside of America... Uh, well, no matter what position it may be, what the black people are in, whether they're officers, whether they're this, whether they're that, uh, they do tend to be afraid of the white power structure. So with and that comes just many, 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 many hundreds of years of psychological warfare, uh, probably passed down through heritage. So, um, 
And that's kind of pretty much how it is. So he may got a little bit of a point right here. But either way it goes, seeing the fact that the guy Tyree is black and then the officer is black. Now a lot of people is going to pretty much feed into the thought that, hey, man, this is just black on black crime, even though it is police and black crime as well. Uh, but they're going to feed into, hey, this is black on black crime. The blacks always going at it with each other and, uh, you know, slaughtering each other. And they need to calm down with all that. And that's how it's going to be. And, of course, you're probably going to see some rappers speaking out. You're probably going to see some rappers trying to do marches but at the end of the day <laughs> i keep trying to tell y'all and other people is now finally saying the rappers are not the leaders for the black community they are selected by those that are actually in power they're not selected by the actual people they are selected they're not chosen you get what i'm saying so th they're the ones that's rapping about all the violence and got the youth spinning and killing each other at alarming rates so just because they have money and power and fame that doesn't mean that they're the leaders of the actual community so they're going to be doing all these marches and all this because at the end of the day, it's still going to go back to rapping about the violence, having the youth killing each other as well. So I don't know. It's just all a big ball of craziness, but we'll just have to see how it all goes. Let me know some. How do y'all feel about what Lil Boosie said? Y'all talking about if the guy Tyree was a white guy, uh, that the officers would not have gotten a bun. And then, of course, how do y'all feel about Finesse two times who has now? Uh, well, I, I don't want to say he was involved in it, but I do want to say the fight took place at his show uh, with it in energy would have been i will put the fight in my ig stories at key talk media of course y'all know i don't make main page posts i only post inside of the stories we've got like our own secret society and also if they do take it from there i'll put it in my backup page but i will make sure that i put the link inside of my ig stories at key talk media let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out